Greetings, Dr. Sanchez and fellow classmates of Human Resources Management. I am Eric Turner, and today my presentation will address the importance of talent development to improve performance in an organization. My official title is Master Sergeant Eric Turner, and I have 25 years active military service in the United States Air Force. My military leadership history consists of 2010 to 2012, I was an aircraft section chief where I managed 150 crew chiefs. 2012 to 2017, I was a maintenance superintendent where I managed 120 mechanics and all shift aircraft maintenance activities. 2017 to present, I'm currently programs and support flight chief where I manage 150 personnel across 30 duty titles. My hypothesis statement is that I will be researching and proving that using technology in a training environment to effectively develop the talents of generations can improve performance in an organization. Quick overview of the presentation. You're going to see Definition of talent development, goal of talent development, philosophy, matrix, tier talent, 21st century, employer branding, technology, generations, HR strategy, and generation distinction. Definition of talent development is a set of integrated organizational HR processes designed to attract, develop, motivate, and retain productive, engaged employees. Goal of talent development is to create a high performance, sustainable organization that meets its strategic and operational goals and objectives. Talent is considered an organizational asset. Talent is also known as human capital. Talent is vital for any organization and proper talent management and career planning system is essential for both the organization and the employees. Talent development and career planning. Career planning is closely related to talent development in an organization. The study identified employees who were doing well in their current positions. The study also identified employees who possessed the qualification in line with the company. Focus was on the talent pool and employees that displayed outstanding performance. This is where the study shows correlation between talent development and career planning. Improving qualifications improves performance. The talent development philosophy. Talented people are rare and in demand. Highly talented people have better opportunities. Organizations appreciate their talented employees. Success lies with getting and keeping talent. Targeting the development of talented employees is key to success. Talent development is essential part of progressive care for employees. Developing people with their own ability to be creative, to gain knowledge, and who have the will to work at a particular motivational level. Four levels of integrated talent development are business strategy, human resources strategy, talent management processes, and organizational culture. The next slide will break down the four distinct talent philosophies. Top left corner, you'll see exclusive and stable. This is the war for talent where companies identify, attract, and retain talented individuals. Top right, nature for nurture interactions. This is where companies develop individuals with potential. That's exclusive and developable. Bottom left, stable and inclusive. Everyone has particular talents. Identify and use these talents. And lastly, bottom right, developable and inclusive. Everyone can become talent through training. 
companies should be offering talent development to everyone. Philosophy tied to performance. Organizations that identify and act toward employee needs to find that attempting to maximize employee potentials makes it likely to increase performance. This philosophy determines the nature of human resources man management and talent development and practice and consequently influence valuable outcomes such as employee well-being and performance. The tier talent. At the individual level, talent refers to employees who have certain abilities and exceptional competences. At the organizational level, talent is perceived as specific to the organization and strongly influenced by its area and nature of its operations. At the group level, most organizations group their talents in talent pools. Key talents usually represent 2 to 5 percent of the employees. Individuals in this group can often be the target of recruiting. The 21st Century and Technology Survival and organizational development in the first decades of the 21st century involved aspects of attracting and retaining talented employees. The new social technologies are the main focus on emo emotional intelligence and the existence of some specialized techniques to optimize talent management and retain talents in the heart of the organization. Developing a talented employee can be viewed as a person that the competition would hire within seconds and are indispensable to future organizations due to their ability to predict the future. Training the generations. Generation Y are partial to financial rewards while Generation X are more interested in health and medical. Generation Y, they prefer working for larger corporations. Build a plan to develop human capital strategically through training the workforce to better adapt to technological changes. Building the plan. Utilize subject matter experts to develop talent with talent. Endorse open online forums for feedback. Open and honest cross-communication of best training practices. Training programs should be designed to appeal to the generations. Effective training and development practices are opportunities for new experiences, clear and attainable career pathway, clear training and career development guidelines, appropriate training and development, mentoring, specialist guidance, and supervision. Tech Savvy. The more tech savvy an individual is, the more drive they have to hold higher senior positions. Fully trained, highly effective performing employees are found to enhance performance. There is a direct correlation with performance and promotability such as high performance equals high promotability, moderate performance equals moderate promotability, and low performance equals low promotability. Employer branding. Employer branding is an employer reputation as a place to work. Employer branding has a very important role to play in the strategic development of talent since Generation Y talent pool are highly technology savvy and very mobile. 71 percent of employees use employer branding to promote career and development opportunities. 65 percent claim to specifically dedicate the employer brand for the promoting or, or promoting training and development provisions within organizations. 76 percent of firms considered recruitment, advertising, and communication materials to be the key resourcing activities determining the employer brand. Technology and human capital. Companies need to start treating technology as human capital. The only difference in companies is intellect. Organizations performance and competitive advantage is employee intellect. Developing talent gained interest in 1980 Technology gained interest in the 2000s. 
technology utilized to train talent gain interest in late 2000s. Technology builds intellect and companies enhance competitiveness. Technological IT efforts. Technological capability is measured by proficiency. Talent development was proven to have operational sustainability in organizations when IT trained. IT training will help organizational members understand the firm's values on sustainability. Training enhances firm members' skills so that members participate successfully in the implementation of sustainable operational routines. Develop talent through technology. The DeVry Group partners with C-Factor Works to build a configurable talent review process tool, or the TRP tool. C-Factor Works created a human resources information system and employee portal. It was a nine box evaluation matrix, real time talent information provided for managers, detailed talent profiles, talent cards, which are quick reference tools similar to baseball cards. All of this is identified on the next slide. This is your nine box evaluation matrix. Employers can hover their cursor over the employee and it brings up certain information. On one side you have performance, at the bottom you have potential, in the middle you have medium, at the top you have high, and bottom you have low. For instance, top left corner, they put the cursor on there, this guy has high performance. Top middle, this guy is identified as a high valued contributor. Top right, high potential. Middle is a valued contributor, and bottom is a future contributor. This just identifies what the individual managers are looking for. What you see here is a talent card, similar to a baseball card. It's just a snapshot, talent snapshot resume baseball card type style breaks down the information and managers can identify what they're looking for with each candidate the effectiveness of the TRP in one year with the TRP Divi Group assessed over 1500 leadership candidate employees over 100 locations and identified key talent to create succession depth for mission critical roles. With the new technology, facilitators had robust and accurate employee data at their fingertips during talent review meetings. They were able to reference real time data and make better talent assessment decisions and build meaningful succession plans. Lori Davis, the Vice President of Human Resources for DeVry, stated the new tool was invaluable to running high quality talent review process in the organization. The outcomes were better and they delivered the process to the organization in a streamlined and cost-effective manner. The Divi Group has accelerated the investment and the organization has begun trapping, tracking engagement, retention, and placement of their individuals into mission critical roles. Develop through technology. Advanced information and communication technologies are impacting the way groups and individuals collaborate, communicate, and engage. Without training, it would be difficult to find an organization or individual not engaged with some aspect of technology on a daily basis. With educational settings, the internet and everything associated with it is so taken for granted, it is almost invisible in today's employees. With the various apps, social media, social networking sites, online communities, and a myriad of information technologies has given rise to new topics of conversations and behaviors. Technology develops skills, competences, or behaviors that are similar to traditional training settings, but will also build different knowledge and skills and abilities necessary for organizational effectiveness. 
the net generation. Several researchers have stated that the current generation called digital natives or the net generation known to have different technological skills and preferences from previous generations because they were born and have grown up in a digital age. The new generation tends to use certain technologies such as computers, the internet, email, mobile phones, more often in their daily lives. Reports prove that higher education students use the technologies extensively for personal aims. They also use them equally for educational purposes and work duties. Technology and the HR strategy. As workplaces and the workforce becomes more technology driven, there is a greater need and opportunity for HR and IT leaders to collaborate as a strategic business partner. If HR and IT are accepting, then they will already have a good working relationship and share some common goals. HR brings the strategic talent development goals and IT brings the technology to support it. Any organization would benefit from the exercise of reviewing talent development processes to ensure that they are supportive of organizational priorities and generate the data and analytics to bring rigor and confidence to human capital decision making. Taking ownership will require HR to demonstrate the business savvy, courage, and collaborative skills necessary to fill the middle seat that bridges strategy and execution. How Infosys Company Develops the Generations Infosys develops the next generation of leaders and talent as it its top deck shrinks. Infosys puts new programs in place to identify and develop the company's next batch of top leaders. The new programs, once implemented, will look to groom and develop leaders across various levels of the company. Reports of the first 50 employees put through the first level of training immediately showed positive results. The company can identify to figure what should be the development of each employee should go through in attempt for them to achieve their own potential. Development across the generations. The indication of general workplace values and attitudinal workplace preferences specifically impacts employee motivation to be attracted to and to remain with an organization. Research has produced a myriad of identified various work-related values and workplace preferences across the different generations. Reward practices can be used to develop and retain employees across all generations. Literature on general generational differences is extensive and includes cross-sectional studies of meta-analysis and comprehensive theory. This chart breaks down generational work-related values. Traditionalists are ambitious, loyal to the company, and have respect for authority. While baby boomers are risk-takers, innovative, and want to advance. Generation X are cynics, they're skeptical, but flexible, and live for today. Millennials are also ambitious, but they're ambitious to make a difference and a secure, com comfortable life, satisfied with work tasks, and want to learn. This chart breaks down generational major workplace preferences. I'm not going to cover them all, but just a few. Traditionalists, as you can see at the bottom, training and development, they're retirement oriented. They're our oldest generation in the workforce. Boomers, achievement to work, willing to do de detailed work, 
Generation X want immediate recognition. Millennials want to play meaningful roles. As far as challenging work, number three, boomers desire non-boring work. Generation X dislike repetitious jobs, need flexible and challenging work. I'll pause for a second so you can review the slide. This slide identifies management, approach, and culture. Traditionalists, as you can see, number one, work accomplished and acknowledgement. Traditionalists' willingness to utilize and respect their prior experience. And also, number six, respect for culture. They respect for prior experience and their work, work ethic. If you look at empowerment, boomers, prefer informational environments. Number eight, use new technologies and applications. Boomers are not that tech savvy. Generation X want high tech environment, but the millennials want continuous retooling and renewal. I'll pause for a second so you can review the slide. Here's a breakdown of the characteristics of the different generations. Traditionalists, they're the, as I mentioned earlier, they're the oldest, most experienced workforce. Their maturity and consciousness make them reliable and hard workers, and their experience can provide benefit, beneficial teaching to other generational workers. Traditionalists generation also have strong intentions to return to the workforce because of financial worries wishes to upgrade their skills, or simply miss aspects of their former jobs. Baby boomers hold many of the executive positions with companies today. Boomers are willing to wait their turn for promotional opportunities and rewards. They display loyalty to their companies and expect their companies to reciprocate its loyalty in return. Generation X, or the MTV generation, Gen Xers learned independence early in life and turned, into, turned it into valuable hallmark as they progressed into the working world. Autonomy of self-reliance rather than respect for authority was a byproduct of their childhood. They are mistrustful of tradition, work values, full of cynicism and skepticism and desire dynamic changing work environment. Millennials, or the Generation Y, they are the youngest group in the workforce and have grown up in an era of technology. Technological advancements in real-time media and communication drive their expectations toward immediate gratification. They are confident, fast learners who dislike inflexible work schedules that control them. They multitask, like to work in teams and on different project teams simultaneously and expect their companies to act socially responsible. Distinctions between older and younger workers. Researchers in organizational psychology, social psychology, and sociology have found evidence for gradual changes over time in work-related variables such as job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and turnover. There are also differences in personality characteristics such as social dominance, and narcissism that have been connected to work outcomes. Many generational concerns for employees in the workplace are stereotypical companies and managers should not fall for the stereotypes. There is no law protecting generations from being discriminated against however age is protected. Just as there are people from certain groups who fit stereotypes, there are millennials who are narcissistic. Using stereotypes as an advantage. The key to developing a multi-generational workforce effectively is for managers to measure critical individual differences as well as track the gradual development 
and demographic changes that occur within and among individuals over time. Managers like generational differences because there are sometimes changes in workers that co-occur with their development over time. Identify real trends and changes in the workforce. Figure out how to develop and advance positive qualities and not assume any person in particular in particular has a certain characteristic because of their supposed generational membership. New technologies and advancements in understanding and dealing with high stress jobs are environmental developments that would be important for agencies to consider when training and maintaining its new workforce regardless of the generation. Here's an overview of what we covered. Demi definition of talent development, goal of talent development, philosophy. You saw the matrix, the tier talent, 21st century, employer branding, technology, generations, the HR strategy, and generation distinction. In conclusion, for organizations to remain competitive, they must recruit the most efficient candidates. Once they have the employees that can achieve the greatest potential, a company must develop the talent of their most protective and productive employees. Developing talent of employees is only half of the equation. Simply developing talent does not does no good if you cannot retain them. There is nothing more dissatisfying than to develop an employee to leave to be extremely effective with another organization. It is clear that embracing the technology to develop and train employees is highly effective. Although there is diversity in generations, harnessing the positive aspects of each can increase the employee's potential and in turn enhance their performance for the organization. Here's a slide of my resources, sources that I used for research. In closing, Dr. Sanchez and fellow classmates, I have enjoyed conducting this research to present it to you today. I have also enjoyed being in class with each and every one of you. Dr. Sanchez, thanks for your guidance, pushing us to give our very best to be effective resource managers. Thanks. Have a great day.